of you want to do things right. To keep up with keeping your lives tight. Tight as in being right with the truth of true insight. Who of you want to do things right? Who of you want to truly succeed in attaining all and that which is your need? To be heard by the real answerer of all deeds, the true hero of all whom pleads. Who of you really want to bow down to the true king of kings commanding the crown? To worship the one that ever rules alone, commanding everything of creation from the seat of the our One hour audience, but another possible will continue with this discussion, Holy Queen Mother. Uh, we'll continue with discussion about what's happening in the world today. We were talking about the politicians and how the people trust the politicians just as the people in Haiti trusted their voodoo leaders, their, their, their spiritual, their religious leaders of the past. Now they've turned on them. You know, we're looking at what's prophesied to happen today and what's coming about today when the people are being set up by the politicians, by the leaders, the religious leaders, all the influential people that's in this in this country today, in this world today, throughout the world, and how ultimately they're setting themselves up to be turned on. You know, they're setting being set up by the Lord L in itself. You know. Now, what I want to go back to is what I was saying earlier um, about how the Arabs set up the Muslims in America. See, the black men, African Americans, they want to be accepted by somebody. Like Oprah said, Oprah said to um, Walters, Barbara Walters, okay. Barbara asked her that she want to be black from what I hear. I you didn't witness it. Caucasian. That she want to be Caucasian. I didn't witness it, but I heard about it. Mm. And she said yes. And the thought came to me last night. I said, don't she know? I said, well, I wonder why Barbara didn't tell her. If you was Caucasian, you would not be as powerful as you are. You would not have the money you had. Imagine big, fat Oprah being accepted by American people where they're going to take her as a Caucasian who don't have no control of herself in her eating have questionable sexual appetites and different things happening and make her a leader of their people. They would never do that. I made a joke about who she would be like, but I'm not going to say that. But the thing about it is that Oprah was just used to help take our people down. Part of the diabolical scheme to keep the African American people down. She destroyed the African American man in the minds of people. Destroyed them and got them. And, and, and the problem, and the problem is because the gen is backing her, giving her all this money, because they know she ain't no threat. They, they could give her $300 billion and she do nothing for her people with it. Nothing, right? Because she don't even want to be herself. She don't even want to be her own people. So what's she going to do for them? She stepped all across America to get to Africa to get them money for higher education, for better education. Now, if she's doing it here in America, the United States of America, for her people of genealogy, she ain't telling nobody. She don't want it to be known if she's doing it. Just the fact of it being known and right. you propagating it is the help itself. Yeah. Yeah. The president said something very smart last night, whether he want to believe it or not. He said you have to accept that the Muslims in the United States of America is a part of the American family. He was talking about wisdom and sensical things and nonsensical things. Now, the Arabs use the African-American Muslims to be a thorn. I've been saying that since the 70s. I've been saying it since the, I've been angry. How are people going to let them use us as a thorn in, in the side of the United States of America? It don't matter what the people of the United States of America has done to us, the leaders. This is our home. This is our home ground. 
Don't tell me to go back to Africa. There's no going back to Africa for me. I've never been to Africa. My father's never been to Africa. My mother's never been to Africa. So don't tell me to go back to Africa. I know more about my roots in the United States of America and the Native, and the Native Americans than I do in the Africans. You know? But the thing about it is, them Arabs hold us in low estimation. The Caucasian Arabs, the Aryan Arabs, hold us in low estimation and laugh behind our backs and do all kinds of things. Got us looking like fools out there dressing in costumes while they come here dressing in American outfits. Got us wanting to go over there and live with, in, their, in their lands and they want to come over here and get rich and live in our land. Want us to get us one to trade places. Got people marrying their women to get green cards to get their family over here. To get citizenship. You know, do you think that a law is appreciative of a person marrying somebody just so that they could come to a nation, another nation? And it goes back to what Allah say, you know, but people don't take a hold, take hold to what Allah say. Do you give up that which is better for that which is worse? Yeah. You know, why would you give up what Allah has given you for, and think that you'd be closer to Allah if you move to another country and you serve under these people because they were the people of Prophet Muhammad? You know, I, I just got to get back to what I was saying. Our people don't realize, a lot of our black African-American Muslims don't realize how we're being used. How people have mistranslated the Holy Quran. How people have created branches of religion, factions of religion, you know, um, uh, for their own nationalistic purposes. And give them to our people who is uneducated and say, this is the religion of Islam. You know, many of us don't speak Arabic and don't speak it fluently. We might speak a little bit, but we don't understand it. Just like many of us don't even understand English. We could, some of us could say things in English that the other person really don't understand. He might sit up there like he understands it, but he might not understand a word you're saying. Except the simple words. You know? And, 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 but they have used us and they have hurt us. And when things happen, we, we already have enemies here in America. Big cash town, racist, beastly people who hate us just for our flesh. You understand? Forget about our minds and our spirits and our hearts and our souls. But for our flesh, they hate us. And, and, and they're already coming after us now. When, when it's a shame that the president had to step up against any politician to tell them we need to accept the Muslims as part of the American family. It should have been the responsibility of every politician yeah. to tell the people of their localities that we have African American Muslims and Muslims of all other races that are born and raised in this United States of America. Huh? These United States of America. And that they are our people. They have chosen. I mean, like, if I choose Zen, is they coming against me? If I choose Buddhism, is they coming against me? Somebody has chosen an enemy, and then these enemies have chosen us to use us as a, as a weapon against our own against ourselves and, and the gen and the Caucasians who run this country. You know what I'm saying? But that don't change the fact the responsibility of the politicians who needed to tell their people, you know, don't turn on these people like that. Don't slaughter these people because they ready to kill up every Muslim they see because of what happened in the World Trade Center. And we haven't yet discovered who really was behind the bombing of the World Trade Center. If Bin Laden did it, why they didn't catch him? Why they won't get him? Why did they get his family out of the nation? Why there's all this secret stuff going on with Bush behind the scenes and that this thing? You, you understand these other people who goes unmentioned that have been in cahoots with these people? 
And see, our people is so... Why is it that the Jews took off that day from the... From work, 4,000, and it wasn't no holiday. Who got the word beforehand that this was going to happen? Mm -hmm. Enough that they told all their people, get out of there. Don't go. And our people... Why all the people wasn't more? Our people is really wrong. African-American Muslims is wrong. Yeah, they wrong. To go and, and to up, other nations and take up sides with them. They wrong. And, right. and to do the things that they're doing. Because the law said clearly... Fight those who fight, fight against, against you. you. My whole thing <sighs> is, you so busy fighting these people. First of all, you don't know what their head leaders is doing to get into this fight thing with yeah. the United States mm -hmm. and these other countries. Because right. they right. ain't communicating that stuff to you. Right. Your head leaders are just as dirty as these head leaders right. are just as dirty. Mm -hmm. So why would you get into that? There are so many fights that could be taken up. And they're just in your in your city and what happened. Why don't they moment? fight for their families? Right. Why don't they fight for their wives and their children, their husbands? Why they won't fight for their parents? Why they won't fight for was for justice in this United States of America? Why they won't fight to come together? See, the first sin of our, of our people is that we won't fight to come together as a people to save our own nation within the nation. Right. You know, it ain't about us outdoing Caucasians or Hispanics or anything like that. It's about us recognizing ourselves. The first law of nature is self-preservation. The first law of the African-American nature must be self-destruction mm -hmm. from what we see. And, you know, we can keep on saying the white man did it to us, Caucasian did it to us. Yeah, they did it to us. They nurtured us. But you got people here who've been here been saying to us, they did it, but you have to change it. Right. And then you get our politicians, you get our bourgeois, our middle class and upper middle class and higher class. They get up there and what's the first thing they want to do? Forget about us. Mm -hmm. Disassociate us. I got sisters and brothers who refuse to say they grew up in the projects in Newark. Don't want me around their bourgeois people because, you know, they're elite people making all this money upper class because I will say it because I believe my greatest achievement in life aside from me becoming our Aziz messenger is my triumph over the condition that the Caucasians put me and my father's people in my triumph over that so why should I try to act like I wasn't there you would think that when you disconnect, as, as such as African Americans, and disconnect from the reality of what they are and about, that weakens you. Well, oh, I mean, yeah. You have a basis, you. Oh, yeah. A real basis by which to go on, you know. So you take on the uh, the cloak of different groups of people. Let know? me tell you they something. Know you're not you know, I, I'm, I'm in a quite a, a, a situation here. My mother, is, they told me my mother was going to pass on any time the other day. And, um,. So that, that thought has really been in my mind, you know. I went to see her and everything. She's bad off. And, um, but find out that she was getting so many medications that it, it interfered with her heart, you know. And she sacrificed her life to make sure, to ensure that her children would have a better life outside of the projects that she was forced in. Outside of the ghetto. Now, I have sisters, and all the, all of them makes over a hundred thousand dollars, two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars a year. They can't even come together as sisters and form some kind of institution, some kind of a company to strengthen our family. Somewhat like what the Hispanics, the Italians, the Greeks, everybody else would do. And they can't even respect or understand or see her sacrifice, her housing them, protecting them, and raising them to come into this success. They put her away in her old age, say she's a falsely accused of being insane, falsely accused of having dementia, 
and put her away because they don't want to fulfill their responsibilities as daughters to take care of their mother. 